the story. Sing me. Rhyme. Sing all about what happened once upon a time when I sing a story or I sing a rhyme. It's as though I've heard it for the very first time. Upon a time when I sing a story or you sing a rhyme, it's as though I've heard it for the very first time. Two tubers took Tessie to Toronto by train. Two tubers took Tessie to Toronto by train. Two tunas taste tasty right about now. Two tuna shops would taste tasty right about now. Yeah, food! Yeah. Harmony? Uh, hi, Belle. How you doing? I mean, good day, Mademoiselle Belle. It's a pleasure to be showering your presents. Do you mind telling me what's going on? Belle, I'm so excited. I've been invited to be a member of the Witty Kitty Club, yeah! The Witty Kitty Club? I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Oh, it's the best, Bill. Only the most sophisticated, polite, and proper cats get invited. And I made the list. Are you sure you want to fit in with such an exclusive group? Are you kidding? They're only like the coolest cats around. They have class, prestige, and give out really neat hats. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm being interviewed later today by the membership lady. She's the one who lets you in the club. So make sure everything goes really smoothly, okay? Please? Okay, if that's what you want. But I happen to know that not all people or cats are meant to fit into all clubs. Speak for yourself, Belle. This cat's witty kitty bound. Peter Piper picked a... Pickled. Tell me again, Belle, why do we have to wear these hats? It is for harmony. Today is the day she's being interviewed to be a member of the Witty Kitty Club. And she thinks she'll have a better chance getting in if we all show our support. But, Belle, that club is, like, impossible to join. The cats are all so snooty. Do you really think she'll get in? Well, I don't know, but Harmony really wants to fit in with them. I just hope she's not disappointed. Uh -oh. All right, listen up, everybody. It's really important that the membership lady sees what a class act I really am. So make sure y'all brush your teeth. Twice. Well, I feel silly. You look silly. Not as silly as me. Harmony, I hope you appreciate this. You look like a million bucks in that hat. <laughs> You've never seen a million bucks. Yeah, you look like something I've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> Belle, is fitting into a club that important? It is to me. It's all I think about, dream about, talk about. We, we know. know. Carrie Ann, I think that's a very good question, but I think the answer depends on who you are and what kind of club you're talking about. I'm in the Cub Scouts. It's really neat. I help recycle cans in our neighborhood. Is that the same thing? Sure, and if you really feel like you fit in with that group, then it's terrific. I do. Everybody's really nice. I wanted to be in the Book of the Month Club, but they turned me down. Said I was too heavy to take to the beach. Oh, Big Book, that's awful. I'm sure you felt terrible. Well, I'm not gonna be rejected. I'm perfect witty kitty material. Well, I'm sure you are, Harmony. But sometimes being a part of a group isn't all that it's cracked up to be. It's not? Nope. In fact, there's a story I remember about someone else who really was trying to fit in and found out how hard it can be. Do you want to hear it? Well, it might take my mind off just waiting around stuff. I'm a nervous wreck. This is a story about Lily. Now, Lily wanted to fit in more than anything else in the world, but she found out that it's not the easiest thing to do. See, once upon a time, down by a pond deep in the woods, there was a mama duck and there was a papa duck, and they were awaiting the arrival of their little ducklings. Papa duck was a nervous wreck as he paced back and forth. 
and Mama Duck was waiting and waiting for her eggs to hatch. But then, the sound came that made them both smile. the mama duck. Who can this be, wondered Papa. This one isn't like the others. This one is different. And they argued and they argued, never knowing that this little duckling had simply been hatched in the wrong nest. Things are getting strange. It's not a happy sight. Everybody's leaving and it don't feel right. Where do you go when the world is new? You head for your mama. It's the natural thing to do you haven't got the knack to quack 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 baby you were born to honk you just got hatched but you're mismatched baby you were born to baby you were born to honk haven't got the knack to quack, quack, quack. Baby, you were born to honk. You just got hatched, but you're mismatched. Baby, you were born to honk. Baby, you were born to honk. <laughs> little Lily felt so lonely and sad. If she didn't fit in with those little ducks, where did she belong? Where did she go? very first day she thought she was home but they turned her away she knew she was different but why she can't say where do you go on your very first very worst day Tweet, tweet, climb another family tree. Maybe it would work to chirp, chirp, chirp. Why don't you try and see? Why don't you try and see? Once again, Lily found she didn't fit in with yet another group. And once again, she found herself all alone. Do you get the point that you're not wanted here? Do you get the picture? Because it's very clear. The only thing you ever get is push and shove when all you're really looking for is love. You haven't got the knack to quack, quack, quack. It really doesn't seem quite fair. You never know who you're going to bump into. There's bound to be a friend out there. Bound to be a friend out there. Well, Lily thought she'd finally met her match. Little did she know that this relationship was wooden. Oh, she was finally happy. Now she fit in somewhere. Until it hit her, she 
she didn't fit in with this one either. Poor Lily. Lily felt all alone. She didn't fit in with the duckies. She didn't fit in with the birdies in the nest. And she didn't fit in with the giant wooden duck. Where did she fit in? And then, a beautiful family of swans floated into view. Lost sister. <laughs> Lily couldn't believe her eyes. Here was a group she really fit in with. And she smiled and honked and jumped into her new family with both feet in the water. found out that she didn't really fit in as a duck. She did fit in in another group, the swans. And that was a perfect fit. Hey, thanks, Belle. That was a terrific story about someone who wanted to fit in so bad that she didn't see that she was looking at the wrong group. Well, I hope it'll come in handy, Harmony. Are you kidding? I can't wait to tell it to all the witty kitties. Once I'm a member, that is. She'll never learn. Belle, I thought I told you to cut the crush off the bread and wear the fuzzy toothpicks and straighten your hair, please. Uh, Harmony, I think you're taking this witty kitty interview just a bit too seriously. Too seriously? Belle, this is my lifelong dream. I don't want anything to go wrong. Yoo-hoo! <gasps> Miss Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo? Yeah, she's the witty kitty membership lady. Wish me luck. What a quaint little shop. And you must be Belle? <laughs> and this must be Harmonity Angora the Third. Harmonity Angora the Third? Go with it. Hello! Charm. Delighted. Aesthetic. Jubilant. Appalled. That isn't Harmony. She's acting so different. Harmonity, the witty kitties are so excited to have you join our club. Your application was spotless. Well, Miss Woohoo, I'm a cat who comes from the purest of pedigrees. I thought you came from the village pet shop. Shh. Now, Harmonity, I'm sure you know all the rules. But perhaps I should go over them once more before I hand over your key to the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, splendid. Yes, now first, the club accepts all cats who fit the qualifications, of course. Of course. And secondly, all witty kitties must wear the kitty cat hat inside the club at all times. Wouldn't leave home without it. And lastly, and most importantly, only witty kitties will be allowed inside the club. No guests, and especially no children. No exceptions. No guests? No Exceptions. Problems, Harmonity? Belle, she says I can't have any guests. But that's not me. I'm a people person. Well, sometimes if you want to join a group, you have to fit in the way they ask. Makes it hard to be different. But I am different. So what do I do? I mean, I don't want to leave my friends, but I want to be a witty kitty. So I feel so confused. Mm. Let me handle this. 
Miss Woohoo, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind. Could I sing a story? It's just a little something we do around here. Delightful. I'd love to hear you spin your yarn. Mmm, hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Thanks. Well, this is a story about a group of cats. No, of penguins. And they all loved being penguins. But there was one penguin who was different from the rest. Down where the ice is in white paradise, there are penguins as nice as can be. Some enjoy skating, that's their way of dating, you see. Fishing too, lots to do in the old icy blue. It's a beach when as far as you reach There's more snow than you ever could use If you stop to shiver while sailing up river Then do get a clue from Pablo's igloo When he's got a cold place He heats up that old place That doesn't about face to find a formerly cold spot is nicer when it's not And wonders where he'd be if he could leave this cold behind What he ought to know is a land made of snow Is a place you outgrow in a while But though he may try, he just can't say goodbye with a smile Here's the news, he's stuck with those popsicle blues don't let it bowl you over Or make you want to doubt Your friends are there to help you get a strike When you strike out But if the load is heavy It makes you want to frown Or keep on moving, Pablo Don't let it bring you down Oh, no! Oh, there's no denying must keep on trying, you'd better start flying, it's true. Cause sneezing and freezing all day is no way to get through. What to do? Give Pablo the hot shower blues. He's packing his case, he is leaving the glaciers, hardly a trace, he is gone. Pablo's decided to look for a place in the sun where he lives. All of those cold Pablo blues. Pablo had a hard time being like everyone else. Yes, he did. It wasn't easy for him to fit in. Pablo knew he had to seek warmer waters, so he made himself a boat and said goodbye to his friends, and soon he was on his way. He sailed by day, where the waters were friendly, with hardly a cloud in the sky. Soon, he'd gone halfway around the world, and the ice and the snow were a distant memory, and the sun on his belly made him smile. Unfortunately, though, as the sun warmed him up, it also melted his boat. Things were getting hot for poor Pablo, and he did all he could to stay afloat. What did he do, Belle? What did he do? He wound up in the tub where all seemed fine. For a moment, soon he'd sprung a leak, and it was water, water everywhere. Pablo found a solution, and soon he was full speed ahead. And then he saw it. On the horizon, the island of his dreams appeared, and Pablo was home at last. Bye. 
far from the tundra, our well-traveled wanderer is happiest under the sun. Though he may miss all his friends, he would much rather choose not to lose those old Pablo the warm penguin blues. I like that story, Belle. Pablo is the most different penguin I've ever heard of. Hmm. Pablo found a way to be different. That's right. And he got to live wherever he wanted, even if it meant being away from the other penguins. Yep, being different isn't always easy. Is it, Harmonity Angora the Third? No, it's not easy at all. Now, Harmonity, are you ready for your witty kitty key? I, I, uh, no thanks. I think I'd rather stay in the bookshop with my friends. I fit in here, and I get to be exactly who I am. Good for you, Harmony. I think you are making a mistake, Harmonity. Uh, the name's Harmony, and the only mistake I made was thinking that fitting in with your club was right for me. Sorry, Miss Woohoo. That's okay. I mean, I, I was treated to a lovely story, and I even ate a few delicious sandwiches. <laughs> well, you're welcome back anytime, Miss Woohoo. Everyone fits in here. Yeah, and bring some of the witty kitties. I'm sure they love a story as much as we all do. I'm sure you're right, Harmony. Ta-ta! Bye! Bye, see you later. Harmony, I'm glad you didn't join that silly club. Oh, thanks, Hampton. Me too. I know you wanted to be a witty kitty. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Belle. I mean, what good is it fitting in if your friends are left out? Well, I'm glad you decided to stay. Yeah, so am I. But I'm even happier about something else. We get to keep these silly hats! <laughs> 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 <laughs>